Do you find yourself feeling lost, not knowing what exactly your purpose is in this world? What are you supposed to be doing? Is this really what it's meant to do in this world? I have three P's that you might be focusing on that you should not focus on. And then the three P's that you should focus on, it's going to help you know if you are um, living out your purpose. If you find yourself lost, here's the thing. Um, well, I will give major credit to Trent Shelton. If you don't know him, check him out and check out his podcast because this is a major one that really hit home that I want to tell everybody, right? If you feel lost, not really sure in your career, in your life, in your mom life, your relationships, whatever it is that you're not really sure, am I living out my purpose? Well, I want to share three P's in this video today of what you might be looking at, whether those are the wrong three P's, and then also share the three pieces you should actually be looking at. And if these things are in line with you, you are living out your purpose. So I hope you get some value from this. Um, there's uh, my biggest purpose in life in these YouTube channels to help you become a better version of you by incorporating simple ways to fix your mindset, but also become a healthier version of yourself through health, fitness, nutrition. So subscribe to this channel if you um, need any help like that whatsoever. I would I'll post multiple videos per week to definitely help in all these areas. So let's talk about the three P's. You guys, if you feel lost and you're not really sure if you're serving your purpose, the first P not to look at is profits. And what do I mean by that? If you are basing, if you are in the right place, um, living out your purpose in this world based on how much money you make, you're looking in the wrong place. You guys, it's not all about how much money you're making um, or what if I'm doing X, Y, Z, how much money am I going to make? for that. If that is all you're chasing, you're looking in the wrong place. Um, you don't necessarily even have to chase and figure out what the heck is your purpose. Because remember, one of the things Trent, Shel Trent Shelton always says is you are your purpose. You, you just got to bring it out. And there's those three P's that you should be looking at. I'm going to share with those. The second one is your position or AKA your rank. Okay. So if you're on any kind of journey, whether it's your career and you're trying to advance in your career into a managerial position or a leadership position, um, if you're basing the fact that you're not there yet and you haven't gotten promoted and wondering if that is still your purpose, that's the wrong place to look. Same thing if you're in an online network marketing business like I do as well. You can't base if this is really your purpose on what rank you've reached. If you feel like you should be at a higher rank because of what you've done and how hard you work, just because you're not there yet doesn't mean you're not serving your purpose. So don't look at the position or the rank as, is this really what I'm meant to be doing in the world? Uh, and the third one that you shouldn't be looking at is, what is the prize? What do I get out of this? Or who's going to recognize me? They're not recognizing me, right? If you're someone who likes recognition, that's an amazing thing. A lot of people on my team and in all areas where I've had a leadership role, I, you have to learn those people that do love recognition. And that's an amazing thing. People should be recognized. But if you're basing solely on like, I'm not getting recognized. Maybe this is not meant for me. Then you're looking at the wrong Okay, so don't look at recognition or the prize as what you should uh, uh, or if this is really your purpose, right? The three P's you should be looking at, number one is your past. What do I mean by that? Your story is so powerful. And if you're keeping it to yourself, you're not going to be able to impact lives. If your mission, like mine with health, fitness, and business, is all about um, impacting others in any way that I can to help them be a better version of themselves, like I'm doing with this channel, then um, I'm looking in the wrong place. If I'm not sharing, I'm not doing justice. I have to share the goods and the bads and all the things because your past is so powerful and it's part of your story. And if you share it, you're gonna help gain trust from those people, right? So your past is very powerful. It's part of your map. It's what made you who you are today, okay? So your your past is definitely something that's super powerful and will be part of your purpose. So don't not share it out of fear of being judged or um, maybe you're a different person now. And also don't think because you had a crappy past doesn't mean that you can't have an amazing ending, okay? So your past doesn't 
doesn't define you, but it is a huge part of your purpose and something that you can really help people um, in impacting the world, right? Number two P is power. Do you do a certain thing in your life that just brings you power? Like you feel so freaking powerful. Like this is what I'm meant to be doing right here. Like you feel like you're some, whatever it is that you're doing and just set your soul on fire. Well, that's what health and fitness does for me. Um, and when I, and there was a point in my journey where I was burnt out and I allowed myself to think this is not meant for me anymore. I don't think I'm serving my purpose. I'm not making enough money. I'm doing all these things where the point where I left. And this is what so many people do is they, they base it on those three P's that I already talked about that you shouldn't base on. And then they quit and they go do something else and quickly realize they're not happy there. That's not what they're meant to be doing. I did that. I left fitness and I went to the corporate world and I went into accounting and I crunched numbers on spreadsheets all day quickly to realize that did not bring me any sort of power whatsoever. Um, and I've quickly realized that I missed that fuel, that fire that I had burning inside of me when I was in the fitness industry. So I quickly did everything I can got into network marketing actually at that point, which helped me create time freedom to also get back into fitness. Now I get to do them all on my own watch, right? So power, if something brings you amazing power, like you just feel like your soul set on fire when you do this one thing, you're very likely in the right place. That is what you should be doing in life. And then the number three P that you should focus on are problems. And what do I mean by that is problems that you can fix. So what fuels your fire? What is it about you that you really want to fix in other people, right? So for me, if you followed or know my journey at all, I'm a mom of two. I have a four-year-old and a 21-month-old. Um, these last 20 months has been the hardest in my entire life trying to put me on the priority list. It's I went down and was never on the list at all most of the time. So if you're a mom and a woman, you can totally relate to that. But number three, um, you have to figure out what are the problems out there in the world that you want to fix. So for me, my biggest passion with this channel um, is to definitely help you find simpler ways to incorporate into your life to be that better version of yourself. But even more importantly, the one that sets my soul on fire is helping other women find out what sets their soul on fire, but also more importantly, what do they love about themselves? How can we make them understand that they are worthy, they can do this, um, and incorporate bringing health and fitness into their life to make them that better and healthier version of themselves to realize they can do this. They need to be on the top of their priority list so that they can be the best version of themselves for their family, for their career, for their business, for all the things, um, and to make them love themselves again. So that is that is the problem in the world that, that sets my soul on fire to fix. So those are the three Ps that you can definitely um, Focus on that is your purpose. Remember, don't go out chasing 10 million different things thinking that's my purpose just because one you have one one day and one moment of, oh, that looks fun. You are your own purpose. Just focus on the past as your story. Um, share it. What, what do you do that brings that power and that fire? Um, and what are the problems out there in the world that you want to do all those things and help fix and change the world? Um, that right there will help you serve your purpose in life. So don't forget, um, subscribe to this channel because I'm gonna be doing more stuff like this, health, fitness, workouts, nutrition, all the things to help you um, do everything I talked about.